Hi YouTube, I'm Kat, welcome to my channel, or uh, welcome back if you've been here before. Um, I am 36 weeks today and have just been for my growth scan. Um, uh, it took the mess a bit because I was waiting for like over an hour to be called into the scan room and I hadn't even seen the consultant at that point because you have to wait until after the scan to see the consultant. Um, uh, they have said that her belly hasn't like shot up again. It's continuing on its own little line um, and growing at the same rate as everything else now. So that's good. Um, they've predicted her to be six pounds 12 at the moment. Um, Heather was predicted to be um, six pounds 13 at 36 weeks and then she came out at 38 weeks and she was um, six pounds 15. So, um, I don't think there's anything to worry about on the weight front either. Um, the um, consultant said um, that she sees no reason why I can't try for a VBAC. Um, um, she doesn't see any risks or anything. Um, one of the main issues last time was that I didn't dilate fast enough. And obviously, if I've um, laboured before, then my cervix should dilate faster this time round. Um, um, so hopefully it should go a lot better. Um, and if the doctors don't see any risk involved in a VBAC, then obviously going for a C-section would just be unnecessary risk um, because it would then be an unnecessary operation. Um, so, yeah, despite the conveniences that a planned C-section would bring me, um, the fact that I always wanted to try for a VBAC and the doctors don't see any risk in it means that I'm trying for a VBAC. So, um, yeah, um, I think um, they're seeing me again for another scan at uh, 39 weeks, provided that I don't go into spontaneous labour. Um, so we shall see how how that goes. Obviously, as I said before, I had Heather at 38 weeks. Um, that was spontaneous labour. Um, I went, my waters broke at like 12 in the morning or something like that, I can't remember. Um, and then um, my contraction started like straight away. So, um, yeah, that was a long labour. I was in labour for 38 hours. Um, and then I had to have a c-section so hopefully this time goes a lot better um, I'm hopeful the doctors all seem very very hopeful um, uh, yeah so we will see what happens um, I mean I'm feeling a lot better recently since I mean it's been a couple of weeks since my last update I think um, the um, blood sugar levels have been fine recently. I did get put on metformin um, because my morning blood sugars were a bit high. Um, so I've just been taking it after breakfast. But there, are, there have been some mornings that I've forgotten to take it. So, um, and it hasn't made that much of a difference. So, yeah, I don't think can be that bad really because it seems that metformin doesn't really seem to affect it much or be as necessary anyway I will try and show you my bump I am now this is actually Matt's top because I couldn't find a top that fit so yeah 
That is my bump. Quite stretched out now. Like. <laughs> Not much room left. They um, couldn't get a picture today. Um, we have a picture from Heather's 36 week scan. Um, but um, because she's, I think Lil Lily's like further down, like she's not properly engaged, but I think she's further down than Heather was. Um, like I, I actually feel like I've dropped a bit. Like there's a whole hand there. And Heather, Heather's bump always seemed quite high, but um, yeah. So I think it's because of how um, how Lily is, like where she's positioned. They couldn't get a picture of her face, um, so um, yeah, no picture today. Um, I've started collecting colostrum um, a bit early. I know, um, like you're not supposed to start until exactly. 37 weeks but I started at um, 35 and 35 and 5 35 weeks and 5 days um, so I have one full syringe um, that was from my second attempt um, f my first attempt I didn't get anything like not even a little glistening drop or anything and then um uh the day bef no yesterday morning um that was i got um a full syringe in one sitting it was like half an hour but it was just off one boob um so i was quite pleased with that and then um last night i half filled this one um and I tried to put a bit more in it um, this morning. Um, I probably collected like um, like zero point two mils or something because each syringe is a mil. Um, but because it wasn't that much, it just sort of like stayed on the spoon. So I've been using a a spoon to like collect it on. Um, like you have to sort of squeeze your boob in like a C shape and wait for the colostrum to come out. Um, and I I found it a bit of a struggle to try and collect it in the um, syringe after having Heather because um, I had to do it after I had Heather because she wasn't feeding well um, and she had jaundice. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Um, so I thought I'd try with the spoon um, for um, harvesting it while still pregnant and it was working really well um, and then I tried using a like medicine cup as well and that didn't go as well I don't think because it's it was hard to angle it because um, obviously you don't get much coming out um, because colostrum is quite thick and it doesn't flow as freely as normal milk does. So, um, yeah, it was hard to like angle the cup so that the drops actually went in. Um, some of it ended up going down the side of the cup. Um, I probably got like two thirds actually in the cup um, and that's the half syringe. So it might have actually been full of I'd have used the teaspoon, um, but yeah, I'll be using the teaspoon from now on. But I've just been like sterilising it in sterilising fluid, because um, obviously it's metal, so I can't put it in the um, microwave steriliser. Um, yeah, um, um, I'm gonna be trying to do it sort of like two or three times a day, just so that um, my boobs get used to doing it and because if I only do it like once a day then they might think that I don't want the colostrum um think you know what I mean like 
they do sort of have a mind of their own when you're breastfeeding. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, uh, I'm going on about this and some of you may not even care. I mean, whoever's watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what's going on at the moment. Um, obviously, if you see my previous videos, you'll know that I've packed my hospital bag. That is um, already. I have also packed um, Heather's bag to go to my mum's um, when I go in hospital. Um, I've packed her three outfits and um, we had some disposable nappies under the stairs. Obviously, hopefully she won't need them. Um, because she only really wears a nappy at night and occasionally for naps now. Um, so hopefully she won't need them. But um, I didn't want to, like, um, force whoever ends up looking after her to um, use cloth. So we, we have emergency ones under the stairs. And I just thought I'll just chuck them in. And her toothbrush. Um... She wants to take some jigsaws with her. Um, but yeah, it'll either be one of my sisters or my mum. Um, one of my sisters will definitely have to pick her up um, because I'll be in labour, so Matt can't drive her. And um, my mum doesn't drive, but it'll probably be my mum that looks after her because um, my sisters have work and my younger sister has two kids of her own um my mum's back on furlough now so um yeah it's all very complicated in this time but i mean someone's got to look after her i can't take her to the hospital with us um and all our friends in the area have jobs and stuff so yeah it's tricky very tricky Anyway, I love you and leave you. Um, I'll either update you next week if I remember, um, or if anything ha particular happens, um, if I go into labour or whatever. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.